Andrew McCart, IFL TV and Association with MTK Global. I'm here in Manchester for the press conference against Scott Quid and John O'Carroll. Yes. First and foremost, Anthony Crawler, how was your tired life? Mate, it's all good, it's all good. I'm uh, just keeping busy. I'm in the gym a lot, you know, coaching and helping out. Um, no no punching myself, but no, I'm good, mate. I'm good, good to be here today. So uh, everything's good. Well, let's talk about the fight itself. I mean, Scott Craig, you know very well. You've trained alongside him for many, many, many years. Yeah. I mean, tough fight against John O'Carroll. Oh, Carroll. without a doubt. John O's a, a top fighter. He's a um, tough fighter. Scott's got to, you know, he's got to be at his best to win this. And um, I believe, you know, I believe he will be. But um, you listening to John O there, he's, he's an hungry, hungry fighter. Mm. He's, um, he's a good guy. So I know there's a bit of need, but he's a good guy. And um, what it is, I think, you know, with this, like you say, both see it as. A must win is in. I know. I never like saying that. You know, uh, you know, it's a must win. Or they're gonna mm. walk away. I know Scott sort of had that attitude, but it's what it is for me as well. It's like the both aspirations of being a Scott world champion again. John will be becoming a world champion, and I think you know whoever wants to keep that dream alive has got to win this. Um, I just don't see how it can't be a good fight, and I think I think John will box. But you know, good box. He might have picked up a few things out there, but I also think Channel's got that sort of fire in him where he just get I want to have it. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see. Can we expect we'll see. Yeah, season? without a doubt. I don't see how we can't not get him, but we'll see. I'm looking forward to it on March the seventh. Is it a crossroads fight for both fighters? I mean, yeah, if that's what I'm saying. Thing. Yeah, it's. Um, I believe. Listen, if if Channel if Channel wins this, Scott might possibly walk away mm. and Scott wins it you know I believe John can come again you know but um, these are the fights what I see this is what I hate seeing like the, you know the loser has to go and they don't have to but you know I think obviously there's more miles on the clock with Scott but he looks well he's in the gym he looks fantastic um, he's in great shape already and uh, both boys live the sport you know they live and they live and breathe boxing like I said I don't see how it can't be a good fight this you said you've been in the gym will you be helping out with Scott's quickly up to March. Yes, yeah. Uh, well, we was doing a bit of pads yesterday, and um, I'm sure we'll do quite a is lot this over to help the next. Elbows, yeah, to help it? Joel. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> but no, there's that, and uh, obviously it's, it's a busy gym. There's there's him, uh, Callum Johnson in fights, and him Smith all in fights. Mm. You know, they're all in, so I'm just I'm happy to be there. You know, Joel to have us in there. I do. You know what he says, if, um, and we'll see. But yeah, on that night, obviously Scott Quigg. I've, I've got my own two fighters over there, uh, JJ and Dylan Evans. So I'm, I'm, I'm always in the gym, mate. Right? Always. Must be a, maybe a stupid question come from myself, but obviously being you so close to Scott Quigg, uh, Scott wins this for you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Um, and uh, listen, like I said, it's, I am close to Scott. Mm -hmm. So some say, oh, you've got to say that anyway. But um, I just believe the extra sort of class lies with Scott um, that will be the difference but like I said I know Scott's got to be at his best he's got to be a very good you know to finish if Scott doesn't turn up he's in for a tough tough night like I so say you can see how hungry just see how hungry determined John is but um, I do believe he wins in, uh, in an exciting fight you said as well uh you're coaching, you're doing a little bit in the gym and that. Are you going to be walking Scott out? Are you going to be in his corner for this fight? Or are you working for Sky Sports? I'm not sure, yeah, we'll see, here? we'll see. I'll certainly be helping him out in the build up, you know. Uh, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. If, uh, if I'm not Sky out, I'm sure I'll, I'll be in the corner. I've been there in Scott's corner for a lot of his big nights. And uh, it's a great fight to so have the best seat in the house for. It's a great fight to so have that for. When was the last time you were a fan at the AMI and watching the fight? Um, geez, Can you remember? Fame. Was it Ricky Hatton? Was it back then, that far back? Honestly. Yeah, I remember one of the Amir Khan, with the United Amir Khan won um, a world title against Katelnik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the last, I think that was the last time. I mean, I've been at shows since what I've not fought on, when like, I've been in corners or something yeah. like that. As a fan, where, you know, sat in the seat, it was, uh, yeah, the Amir Khan Katelnik one. Yeah. No bit of your knuckles on that, nah? No. Nah, no bit of your knuckles. Nah, no like your knuckles. Like it's, um, no, it's all, I've, I've punched literally two or three times since November, just turned the bags and mm. stuff. But um, no itchy knuckles or all like that. I'm, you know, I'm keeping fit, I'm staying, you know, healthy and stuff like that. But no boxing, no, no um, punching, punching or temptation to get back in the ring. It's weird, like being here today. Joe, you know, oh, wow, it's you know, it's normally I'm normally up there, but nah, I don't have no. I wish it was me or all like that. No, that's good. That's the yeah. stereotype. That's what most fighters yeah. like. But again, uh, you spoke about the gym as well. The gym, that the stable fighters you've got at the Joe Gallagher's gym. Cam Smith. I was out in Phoenix with Joe and Liam Smith, and yeah. there were some talks between Eddie and also and yeah, 
Joe Gallagher reference yeah. the Cal Smith Canel fight. I mean, have you heard of yeah, Joe? Was no, genuinely, yeah. Um, I think like everyone, I think there's been another twist yeah. in the last day it's that Murata, Murata yeah. looks likely to get it. Uh, which obviously on Callum's side is this point from his side, but also from a Brit, you know, fight fans point with Billy Joe Saunders as well. You know, I think, and I think not just Britain. I think the majority of world boxing would rather see one of those two lads fight. I mean, that's in no disrespect, you know, to Murata. I like Murata, um, but it's you know, we'll. we'll that's the organic well, fight. Nothing. If Canelo goes all the routes, then Billy Joe and Carl Smith. That's the most organic fight to make. Surely. Yes, it's um, and that's what. We'll see, you know, mm-hmm. we'll see what happens. But at the minute, I don't know no news in the gym with Callum yesterday. He's ticking over, mm-hmm. waiting on a date, and that's frustrated? it. Is he frustrated? Um, I don't think, you know, he's frustrated. He didn't box too long back, but he's um, he's just, you know, getting back into it. Callum's a real laid back, you know, fighter, really is, and um, he's just, he'll just be happy to get a date again. What ask you, excuse me. What to ask you well before I let you go. Tyson Fury Wild. I just want to get your yeah. thoughts on that fight. I think, I think Tyson wins on points. However. Yeah, listen, you can never rule out Wilder. However, it's that one. It's I wouldn't be surprised if Tyson touches down, but nothing dramatic as last time. But I think he wins well on points this time. Tyson is going to move for straight Wilder, and um, I think it's hard not to make him a favourite after the first fight. You know, without a doubt, he won the first fight when he won. But I think he wins it a little bit more conv- convincing. I don't believe. I believe Wilder has very little success. However, I wouldn't be surprised early on if he if he does land some at Tyson has to get up. Tyson's saying that he's going to stop him in the second round. Do you believe that? No, not for one minute. <laughs> Tyson's uh, he's going to use his boxing mirror, he's going to use his feet, that lateral movement he's got for such a big guy. And he's going to, I believe, he's going to pull, touch, and um, outbox, outthink while they're on. Do you think he can drop Wilder, though? Listen, anyone at that weight, mm. anyone at that weight lands, they can certainly drop him. Um, so, so, yeah, I think he can, but I think it's unlikely. I see, I see Tyson touching him, touching him all night, boxing. I know that's what I think Yeah, possibly, that. possibly. And it won't be too bad if he, if he got caught early. I think switch Tyson on then, do you know mm, what I mean? Yeah. Just don't become complacent, which he can do sometimes. Joshua next for the winner? That's a fight we'd love to see. Love to see it. It's um, so obviously Joshua's going to box in May, June time. Does it look like Pulev? Yeah. Um, we'd certainly love to see the winner, the winner of his fight, the winner of uh, Wilder Fury. That's the fight everyone wants to see in a great boxing. Well, we'll keep you much longer. You got to be good. good. Oh, it's, good. My, it's my chat, mate. It's good. my chat. Good. Good. Always good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too, Anthony. Enjoy your entire Sam. life. Thank you very much, Thank man. You. Thank you. Gold Star Promotions is proud to present Floyd Money Mayweather. The man himself is coming to the UK for his UK tour, February and March 2020. For all info and tickets, goldstarpromotions.co.uk.